I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. A little bit of thankfulness this Thanksgiving. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of our of the youth around the world with the saving power and comfort of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they need that gospel in these dark times. So Thanksgiving is Thursday. A lot to be thankful for. I'm going to take two videos today and tomorrow. Today, I'm going to talk about thankfulness in the first article of the Creed. Um, and tomorrow, I'll talk about thankfulness in things that we shouldn't be thankful in or about, or at least would appear not to be, shouldn't be thankful about. So remember the first article, I believe that God has made me and all creatures, that he's given me my body and soul, my eyes, ears, and all my members, my reason and all my senses, and he still takes care of them today. He also gives me clothing and shoes, food and drink, house and home, wife and children, land, animals, and all that I have. He richly and daily provides me with all that I need to support this body and life. He defends me against all danger, and he guards and protects me from all evil. And all this he does out of fatherly divine goodness and mercy without any merit or worthiness in me. If all this is my duty to thank and praise, serve and obey him, this is most certainly true. Just think about this. Everything in your life, all the good, everything you have, it's all gift from him. The best thing, of course, is the suffering and death of Jesus. God loved the world in the giving up of his son. And the son's death shows us the father's love. And the spirit makes it known to us. And so before you thank God for anything else, you should thank God for his son and his saving you, even you, with all your sins, with all your failures, with all your mulligans and mess ups. He's got it all. And in him, it's all forgiven. That enlivens you to look at your life and see the other areas of your life that you can be thankful for. Your clothing and shoes, your house, home, your land, animals, and all that you have. Everything you have comes from, uh, from, uh, as a gift from God. I believe that we get what we get from hard work. Um, a few years ago, President Obama said, you didn't build that. And I was upset about it. But you know what? In the end, there's something to be said for uh, he didn't mean this, but there is something to be said for the fact that we didn't. God gave it to us. We are stewards of it. He gave it to us as gift. And we work hard as if it, uh, it depends upon us, but really it's God that gives us success in our life, in our job, in our families. For the things we have, be thankful. And for the things we don't, be thankful. We'll get to that tomorrow. But most of all, all of it, all of it comes from a giving father who gave up his son for us. A gift-giving God who excels at gift-giving. He holds the honor, says the large catechism, of giving far more bountifully than we could ever know. An eternal fountain that gushes forth all that is and could be, that could be called good. Everything from him, good. All things that he gives us, good. So this Thanksgiving, as you're sort of gathered around with the family, I tell you this every year, but I hope that you would consider this. My grandfather used to say, let's thank God that we're together because we may not always be together. And this year we may not all be together, but there's a lot to be thankful for in it. For our families, for our, our, our loved ones, for those that the Lord has given us, for good friends and, and, and a good church to go to, for faith which grasps hold of the gifts for our house and our home, our land, our animals, for our pets, for the food that we eat and the, and the drinks that we drink, for our jobs and all that those provide for us. And that God in all of this still preserves all of us and all his gifts today. That's what I'm thankful for. I'm also thankful for you. What a great audience. We have grown, this, this channel has grown from itty bitty to a little bigger this year. We're thankful for that. 
Got a lot of work to do and a lot of gospel still to preach. And we're going to be coming more and more. But thank God for you. We have this relationship, you and I. We see each other every day. And I'm thankful for you. And I hope that you're thankful for us. God's blessings and a blessed Thanksgiving to you. And tomorrow, we're going to look at things to be thankful for that we wouldn't have thought to be thankful for. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.